guys, so recently I ended up on a flight alone with a dog in Mexico. If you follow our channel, you may know that Richie and I were headed from Chihuahua down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for our bachelor and bachelorette parties. We had booked a ticket for our little dog Tahoe to come with us. He is under 10 pounds so he can ride in the cabin with us. But when we arrived at the airport, they would not accept his rabies certificate from the United States and they also would not accept his recent vet check paperwork that I used to get him across the border. So it was good enough to cross an international border, but it was not good enough to get on an Aerobexco flight. The issue was that it was outside the five day range that they allow prior to getting on the plane. I talked to two Aeromexico officials on the phone that both told me 15 days. The website does actually say five days. I think I just was hearing 15 and looking back at the website, seeing the five, I think I just put a one in front of it and was like, cool, I'm good. So technically the paperwork certifying his health was still valid, but they would not accept it because it was over five days. I think we were at seven days since the appointment. So they turned us away for that. So what ended up happening was Richie and my friend Maritza, who was coming down for the bachelorette with me, they got on the plane and went to Puerto Vallarta. And I actually stayed in Chihuahua by myself and took an Uber straight to the only vet that was open on a holiday weekend. They were amazing. And they spent hours getting the paperwork together, calling the airport, making sure that everything would go through okay once I arrived back at the airport. I spent an hour and a half on the phone with Aeromexico switching my flight, which was not easy because guess what? Aeromexico does not do changes or refunds if you just book an economy fare. The economy fare is expensive enough. We just booked the economy fare. One thing they kept asking for at the airport were stickers. They wanted a little book with stickers in it. I've never had a book with stickers for any animal that I've ever owned. So this was something new for me that I wish I had known. It doesn't say anything on the website about needing stickers. This was the biggest thing that I wish I had known before trying to fly with Tahoe in Mexico. Okay, so we have our stickers. We have our within five day vet check. Tahoe and I arrived back at the airport the following morning to try again and they let us through. So the paperwork was successful. So Tahoe was actually able to be free walking around outside of his kennel while we were at the airport. As we were getting on the plane, an employee came to put zip ties on his kennel, I guess to make sure that I wouldn't open it in flight and he wouldn't be running amok on the airplane. Fine, but I wish I had known that beforehand because I now had no way to give him extra Benadryl or put his training collar on in case he was barking, which he did a lot of. It was his first flight and he was pretty horrified at what was happening. <laughs> We got off the plane in Mexico City. I had to carry him in his kennel with my backpack and all of my luggage, like halfway across the airport because I didn't have anything to cut the zip ties to let him out so he could walk. So the first thing I did after we got off that plane was buy a fingernail clippers and he could walk himself so I didn't have to carry him. So if you're flying with a dog, make sure you have a fingernail clippers handy to cut those zip ties. Some things I found really challenging about flying solo with a dog or any animal, it's really hard to use the restroom. So it's hard enough when you have to take your backpack or your rolling suitcase or whatever into the stall with you. When you also have that and a dog, it's almost impossible. I did not find any pet relief areas in our terminal at the Mexico City airport, so he was not able to use the bathroom either. So I just kind of felt like I should suffer with him because I there was nothing I could do anyway. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. Security was tricky. It's a lot to get your shoes, get your laptop, get your liquid hoodie thing off, get your dog out of the kennel. You can't have anything on, leash, collar, harness. It was bad enough, or maybe I just made it look bad enough that some elderly woman was helping me and I felt like I should have been helping her. She was so sweet and I just 
Like, muchas gracias. <laughs> You're just so cute. With Air Mexico, if you're flying with a dog in cabin, they will always assign you the back of the plane and they will always assign you a window. Both of my flights, I had my own row, which was actually pretty cool. If I have to sit in the back of the plane, at least being able to sprawl out was a nice bonus. The cost of flying with a dog in cabin on Air Mexico varies depending on how long your segment is. The segment from Chihuahua to Puerto Vallarta, I paid 90 US dollars one way and then I paid $70 on the way back from Puerto Vallarta to Chihuahua. If you're traveling with a pet in cabin and there's any chance the flight is full, make sure you get in line and try to get on the plane as early as possible because you have to put your pet under the seat in front of you, which is where I normally put my bag, which means I had to put my bag in the overhead compartment. And if there wasn't enough room in the overhead compartment by the time I got to the back of the plane, then they wanted to check my bag, but my computer and all my cameras are in my bag. And no, I'm not checking that bag. So it could potentially be a dilemma. I can't recommend enough having a soft-sided carrier for your pet if you're gonna fly with them or take a bus with them or anything like that, anything travel related because the carrier that I have for him was actually a little bit too big to fit exactly under the seat in front of me so I was able to kind of mush it down and, and slide it under there far enough so the flight attendant wouldn't bother us. But if I had a hard-sided kennel or anything super rigid, I would not have been able to do that. So definitely make sure you have a soft-sided carrier for your pet. Obviously, you want to make sure to restrict food and water leading up to getting on the plane and get as much exercise as possible before you get to the airport. Taco has some anxiety. Yes, you do. And the vet has prescribed trazodone. I've given it to him a few times and it seems to make him actually more anxious. So I use Benadryl and Benadryl is really great. You can get it anywhere. It's not very expensive. You don't need a prescription for it. I just give him a half a tablet and it seems to really calm him down. And then if I need to, if he's having a hard time or if that wears off, I can always give him another dose, but I haven't needed to do that. Definitely make sure you check with your vet before you do that, but my vet has told me on several occasions that it's absolutely fine to give to dogs. Hopefully I've not scared you out of traveling with your dog. It was totally worth it to have him down there with us. He loved the beach. He had a blast. Highly worth it. Just a few things to consider. Make sure that you only take short segments for flights and if you're going a long distance, maybe make stops or take a few days to get there. Once you arrive at your destination, dogs are actually allowed to ride on the buses underneath where the bags go. Obviously, your dog has to be small enough to fit under there and you have to have a carrier for your dog. <laughs> but it can be done. I also do not have any issues taking taxis with him, Ubers, in-driver, anything like that. It, nobody gave me a hard time for having a dog, so it was actually pretty easy to get around in Mexico with Tahoe, um, with the exception of our first visit to the airport. <laughs> and as a consolation, Aero Mexico serves free alcoholic beverages on the plane. So if you have an Aero Mexico ticket, you don't have to pay extra for your beer and cocktails. Ultimately, it wasn't that bad. It was only a six hour flight total getting there and seven hours getting back. He calmed down a lot on the consecutive flights. Once he got used to flying, he was actually very good. Hi, what are you doing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this content helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below. It really helps us out a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and happy travels with you and your pet. Thank you guys, see you next time. You can't, you have to put the dog under your seat, under the seat in front of you. You have to put your dog 